What's going on guys, it's TJ Gaming, and in this video it's going to be something a little bit different, it's going to be something that has absolutely destroyed us in the last few days, in terms of searching the internet, trying to find all these fixes, and it is NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you, like me, have had issues with this system, um, and you've just ran out of ideas, um, I've tried something a little bit different, and I've just went for a complete wipe. Now, this will only fix the error 003, um, whenever you try to open your GeForce experience, as you can see here, mine's is working, I've just done a fresh install of this, so I'm going to show you quickly how to do this, because in the last few days, just trying to get any videos done, it has been a complete nightmare, record anything, um, so we're just going to show you quickly how to do this. So the link for this website is going to be in the description, as you can see here, you're going to go to the NVIDIA driver downloads, and you're going to select your model, so your product type for mine's is GeForce, and we are going to go to the 20 series, I have a 27 a in here, and you're going to go for all of this, just change whatever you need to, blah blah blah. Now you're just going to hit search, and then you're going to download the game ready driver. As you can see here, it's quite a big file, and the most up to date one is the 27th of May 2019. So we're going to click download, and we're going to start to download this. We're just going to save this here. Um, once it's done, I'm just going to skip ahead and I'll show you guys exactly what to do from there. Alright, so once we've got this downloaded, we're just going to open the folder and we're going to check here. All we're going to do is we're just going to go and run as administrator and we're going to open this up. Just click yes and again we're just going to click OK. It's going to then start to install. Um, again, once you've done this, just keep following the on-screen instructions. They will be pretty simple. Um, the, the fix may work for you, um, it has worked for me, I mean I've spent absolutely so many hours and over the last few days just trying to fix this so it's not a guaranteed fix and it's not the most ideal but for me personally it has worked and it's been the only one which has worked. I have tried everything on Google, everything from forums so if you are at a wit's end then make sure that you try this and let me know in the comments section if it has worked leave a thumbs up and yeah hopefully this will be the one that saves it for you so this is going to start to open up it's just going to check your system compatibility just let it do its job let it run its course and once we get through here um, instead of going for a express install we are going to select the custom install and we're going to select the complete wipe from there Right, so it has now installed, um, so what we want to do is we want to click agree and continue and we're going to go to custom, okay, so custom advanced, very important that you select this. Um, we're going to go to next and you're going to collect perform a clean installation, it is very important that you select this. Um, this is basically going to wipe all your existing NVIDIA packages, drivers, etc. So when you're installing this and it is running through, what will happen is your computer will then restart it may crash, alright, it can happen, but just go again with it. Um, if you're using a dual monitor system, you'll notice that your second monitor will switch off. This is just because it's affected by your GPU, and basically it's all reinstalling. Um, when you then switch everything back on and it's restarted, you'll notice that when it's loading back up, that your resolution may be in like some really, really poor 144p kind of, well, 6040 by whatever. Um, all you want to do is just let it run its course, it's going to then install again and it'll fix it. You don't want to start mucking about with the settings yourself and try to basically fix everything. Let the NVIDIA graphics driver just complete. Um, so you're just going to click next here, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed so I'm just going to cancel it and basically once you've got all this set back up, you're going to sign back into your GeForce experience and it should all be working. Everything should then automatically download your games, it will detect them etc. All you're going to need to do is go back into your settings, change all your stuff, um, if you had shortcut keys etc because it has deleted it all um, and just configure it from there. So guys that's it for this video, I hope it does fix it because there's nothing worse when you're trying to record or you're trying to do some stuff for your, your uh, gameplay and it doesn't work. And obviously you want to have this working so that you know you've got the latest drivers etc. It may become a case of whenever these updates come out because they're so unstable that you then need to do it again. However, it's the only fix that I could find. So let me know in the comments section. I'll leave a thumbs up if it has fixed the issue for you and I'll see you guys later.